In this video, we will look at the different camera views available in the scene editor and demonstrate how to use them to help navigate and build scenes in Alice. After starting Alice and choosing the grass as the project template, click on the Setup Scene button to go to the scene editor. The different camera views are found in the drop-down menu found at the top center of the scene editor. The starting camera view represents the scene camera that will be used when running your program. The other camera views selectable in the drop-down will allow you to view the scene from different angles, layout scene view, top, side, and front. It is important to remember that even if you have a different camera view selected, your program will still run from the starting camera view position. In this demonstration, we will show how the other views can be used to help build a castle tower which consists of three segments to be placed one on top of the other. Feel free to follow along with this video. From the gallery, click on the Browse Gallery by Theme tab. Click on the Fantasy theme, and then select the Castle directory. Find the Castle Tower base, and click on or drag it to add it to the scene. Adjust your camera position to get a good view of the castle tower in the scene. Returning to the gallery, click on or drag the castle tower middle object to add it to the scene. Use the move handle style to attempt to place the castle tower middle object on top of the castle tower base. As you see here from the starting camera view, it looks like I have successfully placed the middle tower object on top of the base. But now I can check my work by using the different camera views I have in the scene editor. Let us use these different views to finish positioning the middle tower object on top of the tower base. The layout scene view attempts to give a view of the scene with a better perspective of the objects in the scene and their relationship to each other. The camera controls are available here allowing us to change this view as needed. Note that changing the camera position has no effect on the starting camera view settings. You will also see that when the other views in the drop-down have been selected, you will see the starting scene camera as an object in the scene. It is possible to move the starting camera similarly to any other object in Alice. Be careful not to do so by accident. As we switch to the other camera views, we notice that the available camera controls change appropriately. For example, in top view, we have camera controls that allow us to move the top view camera forward, backward, left or right. We also have controls that allow us to move the top view camera up and down in relation to the ground. The side and front camera views also have controls for positioning those cameras as needed. While viewing the scene from the other camera views, you can still manipulate objects as you would from the starting camera view. When viewing our castle from these other views, it becomes obvious that the middle tower is not actually aligned with the castle tower base. We can use these views to choose a perspective on the tower that allows us to easily align the two tower sections. Don't forget to return to the starting camera view to see our scene as it will be displayed when we run the program. If you have been following along, use the different camera views to add the castle tower top to the tower. The different camera views can also be very helpful for aligning things like wall segments. Try adding some castle wall segments and a castle gate to complete setting up the scene for this project. In this video, we have looked at the different camera views available in the scene editor and used them to help navigate and build a scene in Alice.